Hey guys and happy Sunday! Last week we had a sporty but awesome sail from the Grenadines up to Martinique. There were some storms predicted and the weather wasn't ideal but it actually turned out a lot better than it was supposed to be so we were super grateful. We of course had the full crew on board, Jackson and our two foster puppies, Oliver and Poppy. And the exciting news is we were heading to Martinique to drop Poppy off to her new family who was so excited to meet her. Jackson was also super excited to see them go as you can see. <laughs> After almost 24 hours of sailing, we arrived to Martinique just in time for the sun to go down. It's time to drop Poppy off to her new family, do some quick provisioning, and continue our way up through the islands on our way to the Bahamas. Good morning, everybody, and welcome to Martinique. So I just had a shower, wash my hair, feeling a million times better. First thing on today's agenda is meeting Poppy's new mom and dad. There's a really nice American family on a boat who'd love to adopt her. They've already bought like her a bed and toys and put netting up around their boat and everything. So we're about to meet them now and she'll be ready to go on to her new life, which is so exciting. And then I think we're gonna get, go head into town, check in, do some groceries and sort our lives out. Mm -hmm. uh, so Poppy's going home now. We're going for a real home going to these guys here. Thank you. <laughs> 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 well, you say, especially when you've literally been bottle feeding us and so on, like, oh, that yes. As you guys know, fostering, especially from a sailboat, is really challenging. And taking on puppies as young as Poppy and Oliver were when they were left orphaned is also a huge undertaking. So to see them getting ready to move on to their new lives, although difficult to say goodbye, is the most rewarding part of this whole process. Hey, there she goes. You know, when you meet a family like that, it's just so... Oh, they're getting splashed on. Oh, no. Are you alright? Oh, Brittany's gonna cry. It's alright. She's really been my baby. <laughs> I know a lot of you guys think we're absolutely insane for fostering from our boat, and I agree with you. But when you're out here and you see the issues that are going on with the strays and you know that you could help, it's really hard to say no. And seeing them in their new lives makes all the insanity worthwhile. <laughs> now we've just got this fat, so. Okay. It's funny though, because they're literally anchored next to us. Yeah, they're anchored right there. Nah, look, it's awesome to see, you know. She's gonna oh, be very she's gonna be happy loved. there. They love her already I know. so much. Well, you actually, they sent us a photo of the puppy, right? Of like the stuff they brought for the puppy. And then they put netting up on their boat and everything. So we're excited to, to come here and deliver the puppy to them because they are excited. So it's always nice when you, you know that she's going to live a good life, much better life than we can offer yeah. her with three dogs on the boat here. I'm stoked to see the Instagram updates. Brittany, what now? Now we have to try and find a home for Oliver. Yeah. All right, guys, I'm going to go run the town. I'm going to check in. You guys, if you watched our videos before, you'll see that we checked in at a pub here. So I'm going to go back to that pub. Uh, cafe. Or that cafe, sorry, restaurant. So laid back. So I'm going to go to the restaurant. I'm going to check in. Uh, we need food and groceries. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to come back to the boat. If you guys haven't subscribed, please subscribe to our channel. Hit that subscribe button. Hit the like on the video. Leave a comment. We read all the comments every week and we love it. All right, I'm going to go check in. Good morning guys, good morning, good morning, we're in Martinique, what's up? It's the FIFA World Cup. Now I'm not a huge soccer fan, but I love any sport, especially when there's like a final involved. If you guys followed us for a while now, you'll know that we're in Sicily when it was the Italy versus England. Now, I mean, being in the Caribbean, we can't really get to Argentina too easily and we can't get to France too easily, so We've come to Martinique, which is a French island. There's a lot of French people here, you know that because they anchor way too close to you. No, I'm just kidding guys, I'm just kidding. We're already running late, we're half an hour late for the game, so let's go. All right, we missed the start of the game. Hopefully Messi hasn't scored a goal yet. Let's go check it out. I just say Messi because that's the new guy I know that's playing. Is he even on the team? Messi's on Argentina, I think. I think <laughs> Messi's Argentinian. <laughs> is he? All right, sorry buddy. You can't come because people don't really let dogs into the restaurants. Oh, you just burped. You just burped in my face. You can't come, buddy. I'm sorry, mate. Alright, 
Argentina's already up 2-0, so I don't know. I don't know it's going to be an exciting atmosphere here right now. <laughs> Alright, so I went to the bar, I asked for a small beer and a big beer, <laughs> there's the beers, oh my God. this thing here is massive, it's literally the size of my head, I didn't expect that one. So Ryan got a giant beer and this is my rum punch, this is not what I had in mind. Alright, something exciting is happening guys, so one of the dudes just got knocked down while he's kicking a goal. The crowd has really amped up now. The chef's not cooking right now. He's got to come out and watch. Yeah, 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 yeah. No food's getting served now. How are you feeling? This place went from zero to a hundred very quickly. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> feeling good. France is going to win this thing. I'm sure. Of it. <laughs> <laughs> you have to. <laughs> Argentina won. Guys, that right, so was a very exciting game, but unfortunately, France lost. A giant beer to make up for, though. Yeah, at least you got four beers. We're gonna go back to the boat now because we might get murdered out the street here in Miami. So here we are in beautiful Martinique. It's been a fantastic time. We caught up with See the Little Things, Alex and Mandy and Levi. If you haven't checked out their YouTube, check them out, they're amazing. We gave Poppy to the new owners. Those guys are awesome as well. We watched the FIFA World Cup. And now we've just picked up anchor. We've got a beautiful downwind sail uh, straight to the point here. We're gonna check out at Martinique and uh, make our way to St. Martin in the morning, which uh, is gonna be real exciting because the weather's looking a bit hectic at the moment. So the dog's just pissing the cop here, that's exciting. These puppies are killing me. A lot of you guys ask where the puppies go to the bathroom when we're sailing. We usually put a pee mat out in the cockpit, and here's a perfect example of Oliver missing that mat and us having to wash the deck down with a bucket of seawater. I can just hear you all through your screens going, what, you guys, come on. But it's the reality of having foster puppies. Good morning, good morning, good morning. It's 5.30 in the morning. Just started the motor, we got a two day sail to um, St. Martin. So we're leaving now at sunrise. We're gonna cross over to Dominica, through Dominica, through to Guadeloupe. We got about two meters swell uh, on our beam. Probably a little bit more of a close haul sail. We'll see when we get out there. Um, people might go, oh, two meters, that's nothing, whatever, blah, blah, blah. But like. The thing is, between the channels, that two meters can easily be about three and a half meters. And then that 22 knots of wind can easily be about 35 knots of wind. And, and that's just not fun to sail, uh, especially with Jackson. So um, hopefully the swell is quite long. Hopefully we can reach South of Guadalupe uh, before sunset, but we'll see. So let's just get out there, see what the conditions are. I'm excited to see what they're like. Hopefully they're, re they're really comfortable, but who knows. Engine's on, dinghy's up, Jackson's been uh, fed, pooed, peed, everything, puppies all ready to go. All right, pick up anchor, let's get out of here.
a bit of pan au chocolat. Breakfast of champions. All right, guys, we've reached the point. The sun's up. It's about 7.30 in the morning. We've got about a meter or so of swell, but it's just really long. And um, I hope it stays like this. I mean, obviously it's gonna build up and get twice the size, but I hope it stays like calm because it's pretty calm at the moment. So we put the puppy back downstairs. Uh, Jackson's down, Brittany's having a nap and uh, we got the motor on still. So we just kind of, we're on a bit of a time schedule here. Not too much, but we just want to get to like a good spot tonight on the other side of Guadalupe. Whoa, that's a big one. So we'll motor now, uh, just to get out in the open a little bit because we've only got about six, six, seven knots of wind. And um, we should get about 25. So once we get a bit more out in the middle there, we'll be, we'll be sailing. So the conditions, it's actually quite beautiful out here. The conditions aren't as like wild and hectic as we thought they'd be. They're still not great. We're getting thrown around quite a bit. The only thing about this, these kind of conditions, the problem is, is it makes it really difficult to move around or do anything. So basically, we're just sitting here, unable to move. And then once we get into the wind shadow of Dominica, uh, we'll flatten out and that'll be when I can get up, bring the puppy out, he can run around for a while, we'll do some cooking, tidy up a little bit, just do all of the stuff that once we get out from between the islands we won't be able to do. We'll have to knuckle down, sit back and just enjoy the ride. <laughs> a 70 foot catamaran just flew past us. They started like an hour after us and they're already way in front. It was quite amazing to watch them fly past. Wouldn't mind being on that boat right now. Thank you for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed this week's video. Please leave us a comment. We always love to read them. They're super entertaining. And make sure if you haven't already to like and subscribe. And we'll see you in next week's video as we continue our way up to St. Martin. Not even watching the game. We need to watch the game. Oh, I gotta drink this big beer now in the morning. <laughs> Oh man, this is embarrassing. So, I just found out <laughs> that the World Cup is every four years. So, we actually watched the Euro Cup where it, uh, Italy beat the UK back in Sicily. So, this is the World Cup. Is that right? Yeah, yeah. So, you know what? I gotta thank you for not making me look stupid on YouTube. <laughs> All right, sexy mommy, you ready? You don't look ready. I'm not ready. <laughs> <laughs> All right, if you like the videos, please subscribe. Fell off the couch. <laughs> like and subscribe. <laughs>